Hey, what's up, everyone? James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm out here in the beautiful mountains of New Mexico. It's such a beautiful day. As you saw, I recently just made lunch, and I just want to make a very brief review on my latest haversack. So I'm talking about this one right here. It's by Tough Possum Gear. This is called the, EDC, the Shackleton EDC Satchel. I've, I'm really loving it. I've been using it for a couple of months. I'm sure you've seen it in several of my adventures already because, like I said, I've had it for going on four months. So uh, join me in many adventures. I feel like I'm comfortable enough now to talk about it. And I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed by this haversack. And it, it's just so good looking. It's so good looking. I think it's such a really cool design. And of course, the haversack just provides so many uses for everyday carry, particularly when you're outdoors. Okay, so it looks like a storm is coming, so I'm going to make this fast. Just let me provide you some stats on the bag for those of you who've never seen it. Once again, this is by Tough Possum Gear. First time I'm using their, their stuff, and I'm so far, I'm very impressed. So this is made in the United States constructed out of 1,500D Cordura nylon. So it's going to be very resistant against the elements and wear and tear. The dimensions are 12 inches wide, 9 inches tall, 4 inches deep. And there's also a back padding to provide a little bit of relief so it's not jabbing against your side. So that's really cool. There's this front Cobra buckle as well. Uh, first time I've ever seen that. So you can open this up one-handed that's really cool first time i've once again first time i've ever seen this it kind of looks like a tiki face to me <laughs> i don't know why um there are two side pockets as well right here so easy access quick access to what you need i have my saw on one side i have a flashlight on the other and then let's uh let's open this up Now, obviously, I have all my stuff in here, so I'm going to go ahead and remove all the stuff so you can see all the how it looks without anything in there. And then from there, I'll just provide you a brief EDC rundown on what I'm carrying today. So here's the bag with everything removed from it. So this is the way it comes. Really nice. Let me open it. You've seen this inside, and once again, I'm sure you've seen this in many of my videos by now. Uh, there's this extra flap here to help keep the contents in there. The wall has this uh, PALS pattern webbing here, so you can attach things like pouches or whatever you like. In fact, I do believe Tough Possum sells a small pouch that can be attached on here. So in case you wanted to keep, I don't know, ammunition or a small medical kit, a small boo-boo kit, something like that, you can do so. Or like as you've seen with me, I just place things on here uh, and they work just that works just fine. And then on the other side, there are two pockets. So you have this big out this large container and then there's two smaller pockets on here against the side as well and uh, really loving this color combo the the beige and the olive green I mean it's just so pretty um, I, I'm an earth tones kind of guy so this works for me but he does also offer it in different colors as well so let me place everything back on here to show you what I'm carrying Okay, so I placed all my gear back on here. Let me show you how I'm, what I'm carrying today, how I have it set up. It doesn't really alternate too much. It doesn't really change too much. Of course, things would, you know, there'd be a slight alterations depending on what I'm doing. For example, if I was going fishing, I may have like a little hobo reel kit in here, a small fishing kit. But once again, we're out here hiking, so it's just the basic premise of what I carry when I'm outdoors. So as you saw earlier, on the side over here, I do have my saw for easy access in case I needed to get some firewood or I'm building a shelter, whatever the case may be. On the side over here, I have my Thrunite TH10 V2. So uh, obviously I always carry a flashlight on my person, but in case you know that one ran out or I need something stronger, I got this one. And it just fits so nicely on here on the side for easy access. Now, once again, let's open this up. 
and I'm pretty good to go for considering this bag probably weighs less than 10 pounds as of right now I'm pretty set with the basic necessities of, of survival so I have here some cordage in here some paracord in my cup as you saw the cup I can boil water in here for you know whether I'm making coffee tea ramen that kind of stuff you saw my MSR pocket rocket earlier and the gas canister for making fire. Well, I'm sorry, for heating up some food. So I have that. My one tigress poncho slash tarp. So it's a poncho, you know, you know, it's a personal thing. So it's not going to be that large. So I like something small like this. But in case, you know, storm did come something like that, I, I can uh, have some shelter. And then the top for my cup, the lid, secondary bandana, 100 uses for a bandana. And look at that right here. So let's show the pockets over here in the corner. So right here, I have my spice tin. So I got this from townsends.com. It just helps you out, you know, some salt, some cayenne. Um, I had a pepper, but I lost it one time, sadly. So it's missing one. I really need to replace that. But a couple of spices for when you're cooking. Eye drops because I get dry eyes all the time. A Victorinox sharpening rod for my blades. And then over here I have a secondary notepad in case I need to write or sketch. I have my lantern, my through night lantern, and as you can tell, it is turned on. I have a review on this if you want to check it out. Not only is it a lantern, say I did have to make a tarp shelter, but it can also charge your electronics like your phone. So Check out the review once again if you're interested. I'll have it up here. A chicken jerky, um, beef jerky. So a little snack for the trail. Um, these are really good. Pine fire for making fire in case I, uh, it, you know, everything's wet or whatever. And then here's the charging cable that goes with that through night lantern and I love that this comes with three different cables so uh, whether it's USB micro USB USB C or the lightning cable for your iPhone this can charge them as you can tell right here I have my Reiki multi-tool so I'm gonna have a secondary cutting tool like a secondary blade secondary saw bottle opener corkscrew uh, glass breaker tweezers here once again, we do have a review on this, so check it out up here if you're so inclined. Really loving this. I also placed on here a ferro rod, a large six inch ferro rod in case I'm making fire. There you go. And look, it just fits on there beautifully. My Yuko Spork, as you saw it in action earlier, I'm able to hang there, hang it on the wall, on the PALS webbing. These are really nice. And then I have a second, a lighter. This is from Exotech Fire Sleeve, and I have it attached here so it, it never goes anywhere. So in case I needed quick access, some quick flame. There we go. And uh, yeah, I have it once again attached just in case. And then I, as I mentioned earlier, I have a tarp. I had some cordage in the cup. And then I have a four little uh rinky dink they're pretty pretty weak but better than nothing i do have some a couple of tent stakes so once again if i had to set up that tarp shelter i'd be all right so remove them and that's about it but as you saw i have cutting tools container a uh, form of shelter, cordage, uh, several forms of light as well, a small snack, and uh, many ways to make fire as well. So I think I have the basic necessities of survival in here, and it's not even that heavy. All right, folks, well, that's about it for me. A very short and sweet video today. Just wanted to shed light on this awesome haversack and this brand new company, uh, brand new to me. They've been around for quite some time, but uh, first time I'm using Tough Possum Gear. And I mean, I just want to get his name out there because he's doing some tremendously 
talented, really good work, and I'm a big fan already. So I'll have the link down below to the website, to the tubpossumgear.com. Also his Instagram, check that out because that's how I found him. And you see a lot of his gear in action and use by customers and stuff like that. So really cool. Also down below is our Amazon store. If you saw anything that I'm carrying on here and you want to purchase it or you want to check it out, uh, the links are there. And anytime you purchase from there, it throws a couple cents our way so we can keep getting out here and filming some adventures. And that's about it for me, folks. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, suggestions. By any chance, do you happen to own something from Tough Possum Gear? What would you suggest for me to check out next time? I kind of, I'm eyeing his survival scarf. That looks pretty interesting. Okay, folks, so once again, that's it. I'm not going to make this too terribly long. <sighs> Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.